All right, greetings, Kiss Nation. Today, this video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be doing some Kiss vinyl tag. Originally started up by the Record Spinner last year, 2023. But uh, Kiss Army Things uh, kicked it off this year. And he wants a lot of other guys that did it um, last year to do it again. I originally wanted to do it last year when it started up. Um, couldn't do it. Didn't have enough records. And when I got some records that met the matched with the prompts last year, uh, it didn't, it was too little too late. But this time around, uh, I'm going to be doing it, and I'm also going to be doing it with a few adjustments, because I don't have, again, I don't have enough of the records to match the, up with the prompts. So we're just going to be, you know, just saying, make it up as we go along, because that's also part of the enjoyment also. So I got the prompts queued up. First prompt is Back to the Stone Age. Show the oldest pressing in your Kiss record collection. Well, again, this is, we're going to do some adjustments here, and this is one of the adjustments. Um, this may not be a record, but it is one of the oldest things I have in my collection. This is a 1977 Canadian Love Gun cassette. Um, and I got this, you know, last year and this is actually yeah it is one of the oldest things i have in my kiss collection because besides the case um being broken when you try to get it broken when you try to open it um the listing does not match the cd which is one of the main reasons why i wanted to get this cassette and you know i've never really owned a cassette from the casablanca era. I've gotten a tracks from the Casablanca era, but never cassettes. So this is actually pretty cool. Yeah. And I just love the spine in yellow, the, um, this in green. It, it, it's, it's pretty cool. Next up, we have, this is your last chance. Show the most, show the last, most recent addition to your Kiss record collection. This one, I can do. Um, the most recent addition to my Kiss record collection is actually this. We got Killers. The 2022 um, release of Killers completed with the bonus 75 single of Nowhere to Run and Down on Your Knees. And this is the one that I, well, I actually tried to get the 2014 version of Killers, but good luck trying to get that. Um, but this is actually probably like, if you want to get Killers on record, this is probably like the best way to actually get Killers. And it's, it's a gatefold, which I didn't know that. And it's, it has the, has the lyrics in the gatefold, which is pretty cool. Um, and I do believe that this is the, what is it, the half speed? This is the, I believe this is the half speed, so this might be, let me see. I don't know, but I'm not that knowledgeable when it comes to records, so I'm assuming the 2022 version of Killers is the half speed where you have to play it at, at 45 RPM. But either way, you know, this is, these are the most recent additions to my record collection. Alright. Then we got, I feel so good, I'm so alive. Show a copy of any live Kiss album. Alright. Next up, and that, we got... Kiss Alive 2. This is a 2014 copy of Kiss Alive 2. That's kind of my main thing when I go looking for Kiss records. I try to go get the 2014 releases of these records. If not, go for something newer, like with Killers. Um, and since this is the 2014 reissue, um, you, you got that sweet gatefold that a lot of 70s Kiss fans love to see the show on their channels, which I can't, I can't fault them that, but that is one sick looking gatefold. And 
2014 reissues. Um, um, package like a lot of stuff. Like they repackaged the entire thing, like this. Even got the Evolution of Kiss book. Yeah, so that's my 2014 copy of Kiss Live. And on record, I actually love how big these are. They're more bigger than they are on the CDs. That's that's cool. All right. Then it's Journey of a Thousand Years. Show the most beat up Kiss record you have. Then again, we're getting into. Uh, adjustment territory again this will be beat up I think and while we're at it I'll just grab this one yeah yeah here it is this is beat up all right but it's not a record this is my copy of destroyer while it's not in the most beautiful condition, not, not the prettiest shape in anything, but uh, it still plays, believe it or not, you know, looks like it's been through the ringer, like, it still plays, I'm trying to shove the back of it, you know, this is where all the, the front and back is where all the damage is, but if you look at it, it still plays, so, you know, that's my, uh, that's my uh, Journey of a Thousand Years contribution. Now we got Under the Rose, show your copy of The Elder. Again, um, adjustment. While I don't have it on, cause I don't have it on record, I do have it on A-Track. And this took me a long time to get a hold of. And while I'm at it, I'll just go through the, um, track listing. The track listing starts with the Oath, which um, a lot of old school Kiss fans remember um, that that's how the album originally started with before the remastered CD came out and fixed that. It started with Fanfare, which Fanfare comes right after the Oath. I mean, it's just a boy, Dark Light, Dark Light continues on program number two, Only You, Under the Rose, A World Without Heroes, Mr. Blackwell, Scare from the Island, Odyssey, and I, which, you know, for an 8-track, that's really, <laughs> that's really a jumbled up mess, but it's a, it's a cool jumbled up mess, I'll give it that. Alright, then I'm a 2000 man, show your KISS record from after year 2000. This is almost the last adjustment, well, Close to the last that I'll have to make. Um, this is one that that even caught me off guard. Um, this um, Kiss Symphony on cassette. You know, that's cool. I mean, yes, and that is this is pretty cool and. And it even caught me off guard that, that I even found this on cassette. 
and I haven't listened to it yet, but just the fact that it exists is quite fun that you can, that this exists. And I still want to get this on vinyl, but it's more, it's more amazing that this exists on cassette, really. So yeah, that's my uh, thing for after the year 2000. I'm almost done with the adjustments. I mean, the cheapest stuff is all I need. What was the best you got on a Kiss record? All right. What was the best you got on a Kiss record? Well, the best deal that I got on a Kiss record would probably be would probably be this this um this Revenge record with the German logo, and that was like around like maybe twenty something dollars. Which for me, like again, it's another um it's another 2014 reissue, but. The fact that it was that low with with the German logo, I kind of figured that would be, you know, that was kind of like a steal for me. Because I, I know how, like, you know, expensive German logo stuff can be. And the fact that I found this with the German logo in the U.S., not in Germany, I found this in the U.S., and it had the German logo, I was like, damn. I'm snagging this one up. Um, has the people on the back. Yeah, I, the German logo looks amazing with the Revenge album artwork, you know. I love that. Then it's, I took a flight into Tokyo. Show a Japanese pressing of a Kiss album. Well... <laughs> Okay, the last adjustment, I promise. Although I did not break the rules with revenge. Um, but this is this is the last adjustment. Um, this is um, although this is the same the same size as the vinyl. This is my Japanese pressing of Kiss Extreme Close Ups. Um, and I will say that um. This took a long time for it to get here, although, you know, it took a while because it's from Japan. But to answer Kiss Army Things' question about, you know, vinyl having, like, a clear sleeve, even Laserdiscs have a clean sleeve, so they carry that over for Laserdiscs, so it's probably, like, a Japanese thing, but all vinyl and laser disc thing have like a clean a, a clear sleeve but the um i have watched it and the picture quality is pretty good it does have japanese subtitles but it's actually in english the whole thing is actually in english yeah then i was made for loving you show your favorite kiss record of all time and i'm going with Rock and Roll Over, because it is. I've actually shown a bit of my favorite live and in, in studio records already in this um, video, but I gotta give love to Rock and Roll Over, because it actually is um, my favorite studio record from the 70s. Um, it's got my favorite Kiss song of all time on this, Colin Dr. Love. It actually is a really flat out awesome album you know awesome artwork awesome songs you know it's it's fun i i love it and this is another um reissue so you know i'll show you that you know it's got this um got um orange vinyl which I thought that was pretty cool this is the only one I have it's in colored vinyl
I believe that it's not all this one has in it. Yeah, that's right, it doesn't. It has... It has this. Whatever, whatever this is. If you're like an old school 70s Kiss fan, maybe you can tell me what this is actually supposed to be, because I have no clue what this is, really. Other than a picture of the album artwork. They obviously did, much like with Kiss on My Things explanation in his video, they obviously could not include the, um, the Kiss Army merch form, because, you know, merch form doesn't really mean anything. So anyways, um, this has been, uh, my, uh, Kiss vinyl tag video. Um, this has been a lot of fun. I actually uh, wanted to do it last year, but I didn't have enough records to go along with the prompts. And I would have been, it would have been more adjustments than there would have been records last year. This time, I feel like it's a nice balance of adjustments and records. So, you know. So, yeah, I feel like. Uh, I feel like it was a, a fun video. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. I hope to see anyone else who gets involved with the um with the Kiss Final Tag this year. I hope I look forward to seeing anyone else who makes videos. So you know, looking forward to that. Until next time, I'll see you around later. <laughs>